the rollout of the updated Gala Games nodes has begun. These new nodes will be the building blocks of the Gala Games decentralized content delivery network. So what is this? And what does it mean for you? And how do we install it? Do we need to do anything special? Do we need to upgrade to a higher end VPS? This video will try to answer all these questions. The main reason I say try is that I don't work for Gala Games. And as such, this is not official instructions from them. It is just what I have seen from my own experience. Okay, so what is this new Gala Games node anyway? Running Gala Games nodes rewards you with cryptocurrency daily and gives you a chance at getting NFTs as well. As discussed in the video, More Games, More Cryptos, More NFTs, linked in the upper right, the next step for the Gala Games nodes is for them to start hosting some of the files needed to run games on the Gala Games network. The new nodes will do this by using IPFS, also known as the Interplanetary File System, to build out a decentralized content delivery network for Gala Games, also known as DCDN. This means that the new Gala Games nodes will be storing and serving up files, which is a lot more than what the nodes have previously been doing. So what does this mean for node operators? There's been talk of adding additional rewards for node operators once the system is fully up and running, but that new reward structure is not yet in place. Gala Games has started the rollout of the new nodes, but is doing it in phases. Right now, the new update to nodes is only available for Windows. The Mac and Linux versions will be released later. To update your nodes, first go to the application menu and choose check for update. Since this is a phased rollout, you may or may not get the update. If it says that you are up to date and shows version 1.0.1, then the only thing you can do is wait until it's your turn to do the update. If the update is available, click the download link next to new version available in the upper right. Once it's done, click on the click to install link. Once the installation is complete, log into your new node. As with the old nodes, it may take a while for the distribution section to get fully up to date. If it does take a while, don't worry about it. The most important part of the new nodes is the content delivery tab in the left nav bar. Clicking on it brings us to the content delivery dashboard. When you first start up your node, it may say that it is not connected to the content network. It may take a little while for it to sync the first time. Also, since this is a phased rollout and they're still testing out the system, there's a possibility that it might not connect to the content network. If so, don't worry about it yet as the content network is not needed in order to earn your daily points. Just keep an eye on it and notice when it does connect. Once the full rollout is complete, if it's still not connected, you may want to consider reinstalling the node software. During this initial sync period, the node will be connecting to other nodes to establish the network. It will also begin downloading the files for storing on the node. As the node syncs, you may notice a spike in the CPU and internet usage of the computer or VPS the node is running on. However, after the initial sync, both the CPU usage and internet usage should go back down to a more normal level. Speaking of CPU usage, with the update to the node, the network power tab now has the correct numbers. The node we're looking at right now is running on a low-end Windows VPS from PIVPS. And while we're on the subject of VPS and machine configurations, in the past, it has been stated that when these new nodes are released, that they may need a more powerful computer or VPS in order to run them. And that may be the case in the future. However, I am happy to report that as of right now, the new node software appears to work just fine on a low-end number one Windows VPS from PIVPS, which means that most people will not need to upgrade their VPS at this time. However, it could be necessary in the future. While the official requirements still haven't been released yet, a while back, Gala Games did release some initial estimated requirements. Those estimated requirements are a stable internet connection, four gigabytes of RAM, two CPU cores, 20 gigabytes of extra space, and port forwarding authority. You may be wondering about this port forwarding thing. I was too. In setting up the new nodes on my VPS from PIVPS, I did not need to set up any port forwarding or anything like that. It just works. However, people running their nodes on their home computer may get a message from their firewall software asking for permission to allow the processes IPFS and IPFS cluster follow. Looking at these estimated requirements, 
It looks like the number one Windows VPS from PIVPS doesn't quite fit. However, right now, I am running multiple new nodes that are running just fine on this particular setup. But we may need to upgrade in the future. Don't worry, I've got your back. I currently have nodes running on four different configurations on PIVPS to determine which will work best. If you look at the preliminary specs, it appears that a number three Windows is the closest match. To help figure out what works best, I currently have nodes running on the following configurations, number one, number two, number three, and number four. As of right now, all of these nodes are running just fine with no noticeable differences in performance. The data in each of their content delivery tabs is roughly the same, and none of them seem to have had any issues. So what does this mean for you? If you're already running nodes, it looks like you don't need to make any changes just yet, as the low-end Windows VPS seems to be working just fine at the moment. Also, remember that the node rewards for content delivery have not been implemented yet, at least as of the time this video was recorded. This means that regardless of what your VPS configuration is, for now, you'll still be getting the same amount of Gala in the daily Gala distribution. What if you do want to upgrade your VPS now? How do you do that? Which configuration should you get? And what if you're setting up a new node? As stated earlier, the preliminary specs that were posted a while back correspond to a number three Windows VPS at PIVPS. But remember, these are just preliminary specs. One of the great things about a VPS is that it's super easy to upgrade or even downgrade. Given that, let's upgrade to a number three Windows VPS on PIVPS. First, we click on services in the left nav, then my services. Then, next to the VPS we want to upgrade, click the Manage button. Then the Upgrade slash Downgrade in the right nav. It's important to note that in order to upgrade a VPS, you need to have all the outstanding invoices on it paid first. We'll choose this number three Windows, and you can decide which payment schedule works for you. PIVPS will charge a prorated rate based on where you are in your current billing cycle. When deciding whether to pay monthly or yearly or something else, Keep in mind that you can upgrade or downgrade easily. However, this upgrade feature does not allow you to move the server to a different location. In the future, the possible rewards for running a node may be based on actual traffic to your node, which means that different server locations may have different traffic. Thus, rather than having all your nodes in one place, you may want to spread them out around the globe. In order to do this, you need to start a new service rather than going through this upgrade procedure. Okay. Back to our upgrade. Once you receive the email that your upgrade is complete, first check your node to make sure it has 100% of its goal for the day. Once it has, you can finish the upgrade. Now we need to stop and restart the server. Note that by doing this, it will wipe clean our old server and create a new one. Therefore, we will need to set it up from scratch again. To do this, go back to the services page on PIVPS and click manage for the VPS you upgraded. It may take a little while for the control panel to come up. Once it does, we're going to click this power button to power off our old VPS. Then, once it is shut down, use the start button to start it back up. Once it's all started back up, we can log into our newly upgraded server using Microsoft Remote Desktop or another tool and set up the server from scratch. This means that we need to first change the GUID, then download and install the node software. For more detailed information on how to do this, be sure to check out the node setup video linked in the upper right of this video. And that's it. We now have our node running on our upgraded VPS. Remember though, that you don't necessarily need to upgrade your VPS right now. Also, it is still unclear what specs will be needed long term in order to run the nodes in an optimal manner. So it may not be this number three Windows VPS. As stated earlier, I'm testing out various VPS configurations to see how well each works with the new nodes. I'll be doing videos in the future sharing my results in order to help you figure out when or if you should upgrade and what the optimal configuration may be. Be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications so that you don't miss anything. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and please hit like on this video. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.